The 400-year-old plays of William Shakespeare are constantly reinterpreted and re-envisioned for new generations. Recently, England's Royal Shakespeare Company produced a Julius Caesar set in contemporary Africa. It was a hit at the World Shakespeare Festival, presented in conjunction with the London Olympics, and the RSC has now brought it to America. Jeff London reports. Gregory Doran, the artistic director of the RSC, first got the idea of doing an African Julius Caesar when he met Nelson Mandela several years ago. When Mandela had been imprisoned in Robben Island in South Africa, another prisoner had smuggled a copy of Shakespeare's complete plays into the jail. And he passed it round to the other inmates who would read the plays at night and then autograph and underline their favorite passages. You got everybody in a way articulating the struggle of apartheid through Shakespeare. And what Mandela himself quoted were lines from Julius Caesar. This is the passage Mandela underlined. Cowards die many times before their deaths. <laughs> the valiant never taste of death but once. Of all the wonders that I yet have heard, it seems to me most strange that men should fear, seeing that death, a necessary end, will come when it will come. Doran was also intrigued to hear that Julius Caesar had been translated into many African languages and that John Connie, the great South African actor, referred to it as Shakespeare's African play. If you look at the, the history of Africa and in the last 50 years since many of the countries started to gain their independence, you see a pattern emerging quite often of leaders coming to power on a, a wave of popularity then beginning to pull power to themselves in a one-party state, frequently then being overthrown in a, in a military coup, and then, unfortunately, that plunging the country into civil war. Well, that is the plot of Julius Caesar. Doran realized that by resetting the play from ancient Rome to contemporary Africa, he could make Shakespeare's political thriller chillingly resonant. In Doran's production, Caesar is a petty African tyrant assassinated by his political rivals, among them Brutus and Cassius. Great Caesar! Doth not Brutus bootless kneel! Begin for me! There's something just about the sheer chaos of what is unleashed on that country that Shakespeare, I think, is trying to explore and describe. And somehow in the African context, it just brings it more viscerally to life. It just seems more immediate and more horrifying as a result. So when the Roman mob misidentifies the poet Cinna as a conspirator, they give him a South African necklace, a tire around his neck, doused with gasoline, burning him to death. When Mark Antony and Octavius Caesar take power, they wear military uniforms and we hear screams and shots off stage as their rivals are secretly murdered. Brutus's boy servant, Lucius, becomes a boy soldier. I mean, I've been with the RSC for some years, and I'm an associate artist as well, and you know, I've played quite a lot of the main leads there. But I've never been in an all-black cast. Ray Fearon plays Mark Antony. You know, when a soothsayer comes along, I mean, you know, when you see it in our play, you go, well, yeah. You know, in Africa and the Caribbean, there's soothsayers. You know, there's witch doctors, you, you know, they're around. When people are talking about lions whelping in the streets and storms, and you go, yeah, that stuff happens. <laughs> All of a sudden, it's alive again. And Caesar's spirit ranging for revenge, with Arte by his side, come hot from hell, shall in these confines with a monarch's voice cry havoc! And let slip the dogs of war, that this foul deed shall smell above the earth with carry-on men groaning for burial. Firon says it's been especially exciting to see how young audiences have responded to this interpretation of Shakespeare's classic. What wins out here is Shakespeare. You just see the, the greatness of Shakespeare. That, you know, 
no matter where you set whatever it fits. The RSC's Julius Caesar plays at the Brooklyn Academy of Music through April 28th. It then moves to the Southern Theater in Columbus, Ohio at the beginning of May. For NPR News, I'm Jeff London 